and today I'm bringing you a video um, it's gonna actually be uh, about the Texas Rangers and how to rebuild them in franchise mode uh, keep in mind this can apply for offline or the online franchise I am currently using the Rangers in my online franchise so uh, some of the things that I have learned um, have came through by playing with the Rangers in online franchise uh, right now I have <coughs> this uh, set up an offline franchise so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the team at a year-by-year -year basis kind of kind of talk about what some of the players you want to focus on keeping and rebuilding around and as well as some of the players you may want to trade away um, and what we'll do is we'll do up to three years um, we'll see where they're at now and then we'll do the second year and then the third year and We'll see how they look so before I sim this first year I want to show you kind of what we're looking at I brought all the injured players you know the ones on single A these are with the OSFM rosters and this is what our lineup looks like as of right now um, I might change it up a little bit before I sim uh, this first season I'm gonna look to trade a few players it's two players and some of the players I recommend trading are Beltre and Elvis Andrews Elvis Andrews is still very young but this is more of a personal decision I don't really think he plays like an 84 overall, and I, I feel like you can uh, get better players in return for that, whether it's prospects or, you know, current MLB ready players. So first thing, I, I recommend trying to trade Beltre. Uh, if you can't trade him, you he's in his final year, so you'll have the option to tender him a uh, qualifying offer, and if he declines, you will get a comp pick. And if he accepts, hey, you get Beltre for uh, a few more years, which will allow this beast of a prospect <laughs> to progress even farther it's Joey Gallo and you can see his downfall is his fielding and his contact so that'll give him a year or two you can um I looked around and this was probably the best deal I got Adam Jones and Darren O'Day um, trading by trading him we are freeing up some of our funds so let's go ahead and do this Make sure you guys, you know, look at the guide because I, I have uh, I have quite a bit of possibilities that you can look to trade. You don't have to trade these two guys. These are just some of the possibilities. That's the best one I see so far. So we'll go ahead and take that one. I think it's a fair trade. I mean, uh, Gio Gonzalez is a little bit older, but we do need pitching. So. All right, guys. So right now I'm just going to let the trade go through. Hey guys, real quick, um, before we get on to the next season, I did want to show you guys training in uh, the scouting. Make sure you guys train all your players. Um, what I like to do for most of my pitchers are the pitching coach sessions. If you guys have a minor leaguer or a prospect that does not have much stamina, you can consider conditioning uh, sims. As far as scouting goes, scouting is very important, especially for a team like the Rangers. They're in the middle of the road budget, um, but you want to make sure you guys hire good scouts. Uh, it's definitely worth the money. All right, so those are pretty good scouts. Um, the region, from what, I've, what I have experienced, it does not really matter. The region west, and you send them to go scout somebody in the east, it does not really matter. Uh, same thing with the coaches. I mean, it's, uh, it's just pure attributes. So, like right here, no, we don't want that. We can get somebody like him. All right, boom, that's better. You just gotta play your numbers, guys. Like right here, this guy doesn't really help. We'll take the penalty. That's fine. So just make sure you guys have your have your coaches lined up. Um, something else. Before I do this sim, I want to show you guys uh, some of the players, some of our prospects. You guys want to pay attention to. Our, see, I did trade Bill Trey for Adam Jones and uh, Darren O'Day. I also traded. Uh, if you guys read the articles, I, re I recommend some prospects to trade. And we went out and got uh, Josh Reddick, and we got Chu out there. So I mean, we're gonna have a pretty good outfield. And we got Joey Gallo. We're gonna go ahead and play him in the first year at third base. Um, it's really up to you guys. I, I would actually recommend keeping him down the first year to save, uh, you know, to start his clock a little later. So it's up to you guys. Um, but anyways, yeah, your best players or your best prospects. First one's gonna be uh, Profar, A potential, can play third, short, or second. 
Um, I recommend once you tra if you trade Andrews, you can move him over to short, and then you play you know Odor over there. And Odor is a B potential as well. Uh, I recommend training his contact. His defense is already to go, or good to go. Joey Gallo, don't train his power. His power is going to be maxed out in the first year. Uh, either focus on his contact. If you plan on keeping him at a DH, if you do move Beltre and you want to move him to third, I would focus on fielding, which is what I'm doing. Let's see, those are probably my my two biggest prospects. Uh, some other good prospects will be these two catchers, Alfario and Talise. Um, yeah, Alfario can play first base. I'm gonna train both of their power, so I have that going. So we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, uh, I wanted to show you guys uh, how the first season went. We went 81 and 81. Actually, had a positive run differential. Um, let me show you some of our stats. Adam Jones, Builder. Let's see Gallo. Let's see Gallo had 27 home runs as a rookie. He had a 488 slugging, 339 on base. That's amazing for a rookie. Um, so if you guys choose to bring him up, that's the type of value. Uh, you can be looking at. Uh, see, Fielder is still very productive. Chu. Moreland's even a, a decent player. I would try to keep him around, guys. He's not really worth trading, and he can play left, right field, or first base, or be a good pinch hitter. We'll see how Profar did. I don't expect him to have great hitting numbers. 672 on base. All right, that's not bad. Okay. Also, real quick, if you want to look at the, the retirees, uh, Beltre, from my experience, never retires, even though he's 36, so... That's something to keep in mind if you guys do want to trade for him or trade him away and you're an online franchise. I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you guys the, the free agents and you guys could actually go resign Beltre even if you traded him. Looking for 6.6 .6 mil a year and you start just looking for free agents real quick. Not Nothing too great out there. Alright guys, so we're in our second season. Uh, this is a quick look at our, our lineup. So this is what you can get your lineup looking like. Um, you know, of course, you can. Uh, you have a lot of options, so it might not look exactly like this, but you do have a lot of options. And I got my lineup to look like this for the second season. Um, one thing you guys might want to consider: I did go out and get Adam Jones and Reddick. They're they're like in their prime. If you guys wanted to, you could go for even younger players. Uh, if you wanted to look more at a, like a, a four to five year plan, I'm kind of looking at a three year plan to rebuild this team. Uh, so this is a quick look at our lineup. Um, pretty solid lineup, if you ask me. We got Joey Gallo, who's up to 75 overall. As I said, do not train his power. As you can see, at the first ride, he's already maxed out. Uh, I did train his building. It's increased a little bit. Look at uh, Odor here. He went up to 78. Contact first ride, he's up to 69. Fielding got a little better. Profar, fielding got a little better. Hitting got a little better everywhere. He's still very, very young. Um... See, Prince Fielder's 31, Shin Chu Chu's 33, 28. So, I mean, we, we have about a, a three-year window to have a chance to to win here. Let's look at our pitching rotation. Still have you Darvish, 29, still very young. And we got Gio Gonzalez in our rotation from uh, last year's trade. Martin Perez, letting him develop. Holland, Galarado. You got a lot of options for your final three spots. Um, really up to you. We did add Darren O'Day in that trade. He's a little bit older, but that's okay. Great bullpen guy. Uh, we, re we did resign Felice. He's he's a very good reliever guy, so you know try to do what you can to resign him. And Freeman is our left-handed special. I'm just gonna focus with power, stay at power. And then we still have our two young catching prospects that should be ready in a year or two. They're probably you know still a year or two away, but I did train their power. You see his power went to 62, 60. His power went up a little bit too. Um, I'm gonna focus on. Focus on building now this year for him. So this guy will be able to play first base, and I, I could even platoon him with builder if I get his power up. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and sim this season, and then um, okay, guys, so we're in the, uh, we're at the end of the second season, and we actually made the playoffs as a wild card team. Um, so you can see, in two years, I already got the Rangers to uh, a contender. First year we finished 500, and the second year we went up eight wins. Uh, we almost got the 90 wins, so we're gonna be a uh, we're gonna be in the playoffs of the wild card. Now I'm gonna show you guys some of the stats again. Uh, wow, that's a lot of strikeouts. Uh, as you see, Dar is just absolute beast. Uh, it has a little bit of higher ERA, which I'm surprised because our defense is so good. But he did have a lot of walks. But man, that's that's a lot of strikeouts. 233. 
uh, Geo had a phenomenal year. So that was, as you can see, that was a uh, that was a great trade to go and get him and get pitching, and that's eventually what caused us to uh, or allowed us to clinch a playoff spot. Because Beltre, you know, he would already be downgraded right now. And actually, let me let me go look at Beltre. And Perez, we're just letting him develop. And even Holland Galrado had some pretty solid, pretty solid years. Joey Gallo he had 27 bombs, 62, 62 ribbies. Not the greatest numbers. Still provided us some value, and probably provided us more value than what Beltre would have done. And he's only making 970k. We'll go ahead and uh, some of the postseason. Oh, eliminated the first game. That's okay. Uh, so we have right, one more season with, with on our lineup um, before we start our third season. Uh, as you can see, our lineup is really solidified. We don't really have a weakness anywhere, and we still have our uh, core four players, um, plus the players we acquired from training, uh, trading away Andrews and Beltre. In my opinion, we made our team a lot better because I think Profar uh, can easily replace Andrews within a couple seasons. As you can see, he's already an 82 overall. This building is getting better um, each year. His contact power, you know, uh, his, his hitting attributes might not look that good, but those are really good hitting attributes for a shortstop. And Gallo still needs to get his contact up, but still productive nonetheless. Click look at our pitching rotation. Uh, pretty solid rotation, and our bullpen is really what's gotten a lot better. These guys have progressed uh, better than I expected, to be honest. And Darren O'Day. Even at age 34, is doing a good job in the pin. And Police has bumped up to an eight. As you guys, as you guys can see, uh, Belcher is downgraded a lot. So overall, it was a good trade. I'll just let you guys look and at that. As a team, quick. we are now third overall. So you might want to go back and look to where we were at uh, when we started. We were at, uh, I think, uh, near the bottom. And then the second year, I think I jumped up to ninth or tenth overall. Now we're third overall. So, so guys, I'm gonna go ahead and send the season and uh, get back to you after that. Alright guys, so this year was actually somewhat of a disappointment. We only finished with 82 wins. It was it was pretty strange. We really didn't even uh, encounter that many injuries. Geo did get hurt a little bit. But I mean as a as a pitching staff, uh, we did okay. It was I don't know, it's just one of those years. But you gotta keep in mind uh, the whole goal um, of this of this video and uh, the article is to show you guys how to get uh, the Rangers to be contenders and I felt like in the video I've showed you guys that so, uh, you know, just keep playing with your lineup. And a lot of these players are still getting better and better. And I think if I did another season and if I actually played some games, I, I think I can make a run with this team. But, uh, you know, overall, it's been it's been fun showing you guys. Just make sure you uh, follow the blueprint and read the article. That's going to be in the description of the video. It's on Sports Gamers Online. Um, so we're going to go ahead and look at, before I end the video, let me look at uh, some of the stats. Pretty disappointing because that lineup is is very stacked. But let's go ahead and look at our stats. As you can guys just look at some of these players, like Odor, he's 78 contact for Shrides. He's only 23. Profar, 68. 60 power, it's amazing. 86 overall. Gallo, uh... I haven't handled Gallo the best. Uh, I think I should have kept him down the first year. But he still had 31 home runs and 75 ribbies in his first three years. He already has 85 home runs. Let's look at the... Uh, I mean, I'm not sure overall. We just had a, guy, a few guys that had down years like Reddick and Chu, Filder. I think Filder was actually uh, he's hurt a little bit. Pitching, I pretty much showed you guys that. Our, I mean, our pitching did pretty well overall. We just finished 82 and 80, which isn't bad. But uh, guys, that's gonna go ahead and do it for the video. Um, you know, please comment, like, uh, feel free to criticize. And once again, you guys, make sure you check out the article because a lot of the good information is gonna be on there as well. This is Cardinal Number Five signing out, guys.